Well, I'm trusting that you are well. My name is Simon Irungu. This is the big question here at Herman Manyora's YouTube channel. And Prof, how are you doing? Good. You're good? Very oh, good. The intro was abrupt, but anyway, did I find you off guard? No. You're good? Never, never. Not me. Let's dive into today's I'm always con ready. Let's dive into today's conversation, yes, Prof. Yes. It's a very serious conversation because uh, things are not looking very good uh, in Meru, Prof, because the MCAs have impeached Kawera Mwangaza. Now, uh, now she, they have claimed that she's, uh, she's been involved in gross misconduct, Prof. Now, what do you think about uh, ev everything that is happening in Meru? Me, I dismiss the MCS right off, right away. Okay. Why? This morning I was doing an interview with, um, I think, some German radio station, Deutsche Welle, I think. And I was saying this, look, these guys began hitting at this lady even before she was sworn in. Even before she appointed her government, even before she formed government. So how, how can I believe they have something against her when they began going for her neck even before she became governor, officially? Then I can't trust them. Why can't you let somebody work even for six months, Remember even for three months? Only three months then you can convince passed. me that you have seen something in the way she's working. They began before she started working. How? Should the assembly then in Meru be dissolved? Kibwana did it, remember? Should it be dissolved? I don't think so. I think Senate will put an end to this nonsense. Now, Prof, uh, if she's, she goes out, that means her deputy takes over. Yes. That means the MCAs who did the same thing mm -hmm. can also write off the the, the, the assistant. Now, in this situation, Prof, do you think they have an agenda? Are they engineering uh, something? They have no point. I don't even want to listen to what they are saying. Because somebody must first take office. Because impeachment is against somebody who, has, who is in office. For sins of omission and commission, while in office. This guy started before Kawira took over office. How would I listen to them? I can't listen to those people. I don't even want to know what they are saying. Mm -hmm. No. And the things, even the little time I have to listen to them about somebody's husband. What, what is that now? Remember, what she, is that now? she faced off strong men from that region. What is, what is, what is somebody's husband going to do with this thing? Now, some of the majority of the... Even if he was given a job, mm -hmm. they are saying he wasn't given a job, a paying job. But... Even if he was given, he's a Kenyan. <laughs> then, Prof, there are quite a number of people. Kennedy gave his brother the office of Attorney General in America. Okay. America is not, Meru County is not even Kenya. Mm -hmm. It's not some poor third world country. That's why I'm asking. Prof. The president of the strongest nation on earth appointed his own brother, Attorney General. If Kawira Mongaze is to continue being the governor, do you think she's, how do you think the relationship is going to be with the She MCS? will cut them to size. I support her. Sure. They are going to fail in their mission. And then they will have to coil their tails. Mm -hmm. They have started too early. Mm -hmm. Senator, I'm sure, will dismiss them, mm -hmm. as indeed it should. And after that, they have squandered an opportunity, because who else can listen to them? They can't do it a second time. Do you think they should they... have waited enough to collect enough evidence if she's as bad as they are saying why not give her even a year or six months but if you fear she's going to misbehave we should blow every time she's about to do something wrong talk about it go for her but as you gather sufficient evidence in the process to impeach her but now ah, now surely Perhaps the MCAs uh, have someone uh, who's telling them what to do. They're trying to. I can see someone. an invisible hand behind them. Remember, not so many MCAs. Someone are was asking me, you that. see, Kiraitu Murungi is a powerful man. Could he be behind it? I don't know, but Kiraitu indeed is a powerful man. From 1992, has never lost an election. Member of parliament, final senator, now governor, close to Kibaki, serious in DP, Democratic Party, senior cabinet. Minister during Kibaki, during the, 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 the Kibaki regime. Mm -hmm. Linturi, very close to, to, to President William Ruto. Mm -hmm. Very powerful in his own way. 
MP from Igembe for a number of terms, mm -hmm. Senator of Meru, rich billionaire, I mean, at least millionaire, uh, mm -hmm. but maybe billionaire, who knows, cabinet, a senior cabinet minister in a senior ministry. All this from a political people could, could influence, but I'm not saying they have. From a political it's quite possible. analyst point of view, yes. Prof, we'd like you to tell us now, do you think there is some engineering behind this? I can't tell, but there's a possibility. There's a possibility. A mere man could not have believed this woman would have, could have floored them. And so many people. Maybe they are hurting so much and uh, they could uh, they could influence the MCS. I, I, basically, when you look at the, the, the logic, it's not there. And when there's no logic in something, then you begin to look for things from the peripheral. And one of the things is, is it not possible that these influential mayoral politicians are behind it? Let me read you a comment, uh, a tweet from Ladema Olekina. Mm. Being a governor is, is the worst job ever. You steal public money, you are always at the masses of your MCAs. If you piss them off, they decide it's time for you to go. Uh, when the Senate agree with them, you rush to court while those who employed you are left suffering, Prof. Will you yes. read from the same script as Ladema? Yeah, but one thing before I say, this idea of going to court, and our judiciary must listen carefully. We have given ourselves a judiciary for very specific reasons. The judiciary must not engage in things that make us wonder why they are there. At the end of the impeachment process, there is only one word, and that word is finality. You cannot impeach a governor, try him in the Senate, find him guilty, and the court still welcomes such. You end up with ridiculous cases like the one you saw in Odiri Garissa Wajia. Then if she, I think Wajia. if she fails at the Senate? You don't. After Senate, in fact, within minutes or hours at most, the deputy governor should be sworn in. You can create very dangerous things. You can imagine a situation where the president is impeached and he still goes to court. You can throw the country into a spin. Impeachment is a political process. It's not a legal process. The legal instruments are used, but it's political. So when the courts come to entertain an impeached governor, at the end of the process, I always... I have a problem with the judiciary in this country. You can cause chaos for nothing. It's a political process, heaven. It's not a legal process, impeachment. No. It is if the MCS don't like your face. They don't like how you walk. Yes, or how you walk. And they can find that word or two in the Constitution to throw you out. You go. And if Senate agrees with them, you go at the end of the story. Why can the court ask itself, how can Senate try a governor in, within hours? Is the trial possible within hours? Is it a trial? In the American Senate, it does not matter what Trump has done. It comes down to the numbers in Senate. Stupid. The numbers in Senate. It doesn't matter what the president has done. Trump was served by the numbers, not the arguments. At this point, uh, so when I get judiciary in this country, numbers. I have a problem with judiciary in this country. They will be un our undoing. Now, as we wrap up the conversation, Prof, remember she's not the only governor who's been elected as an independent candidate. Yes. Now, so should the independent governors, Prof, uh, plead with the MCAs, you know, they don't try to them. bribe them? What is going to be the case My, for them? Our first governor in Vihiga just had, I don't know, two or three MCAs, and he survived. You, know, you don't have to have the, the, the not governors, MCS. You don't have to have them. Just do your job well and let the MCS also be reasonable. Because if the MCS continue in this manner, laws are going to be made. The constitution is going to be changed and they'll become toothless. So you'll be very careful. Is that the way to how yeah. we change the MCS? No, we need the oversight. But we don't, we don't need childishness. We need oversight from MCS. But it must be something that makes sense. Give somebody an opportunity to serve. Then fault her. How do you fault somebody before you, she serves?
let's wrap up the conversation at that prof well thank you so much for tuning in here for the big question at professor haman manyora if you're watching us and or if you have been watching us and you're not subscribed to the channel we'll just go ahead do so before the year ends be part of this big family well till you have the next episode of the big question enjoy the rest of your day